Hi everyone, um, my name is Alana Calhoun. I am the marketing manager here at the Rose Center and I am joined today by the Rose Labor Day Men's Group. And um, I'll give you a second to get to know each one of them. Michael, you can go first. Hi everybody, my name is Michael Currier. I've been coming to the Rose Weekend since 2007 and I became a leader in 2017, I think. Um, Great. Carl? Hi, everybody. My name is Carl Palmeck. I am uh, relatively new to Roe. I've been coming a little bit less than 10 years, and I've been one of the co-leaders for the past few years, and it's a community of men that I, I really enjoy and really find unique. I'm part of lots of communities of men, and I think Roe is pretty special. Wonderful. Nirmal? Hello. I am Nirmal Chandraratna, and I am the newest uh, addition to the uh, directors here at uh, the row uh, Labor Day men's retreats and uh, I actually attended my first row retreat last year the winter uh, retreat last year and I just was so uh, um, inspired by it so I'm really grateful to be aboard so Michael tell us who is this retreat for the Spring thaw and the Labor Day retreat are for men who love men, and I want to make it clear that that's self-identified men. So anyone who feels called to this community is welcome. Uh, we have been around since 1985. Um, it has changed a lot obviously over the last the needs of the community have changed a lot over the last 38 years um i'd say if we have a brand it would be that we create community and connection for men who love men we um do that that incredibly well so we create an environment where people feel safe to connect and if i guess you know the the one of the fun parts is when somebody stops and asks you how you're doing they stick around for the answer and I love that about our community. A few years back, we recognized that we missed each other through the winter. And so we wanted to create another opportunity in the late winter, early spring for folks to come together in a low stress environment and get a lot of chance to connect. Um, so what, what, what do you hope that somebody will bring from the spring thaw versus Labor Day men's retreat? We are historically known for the Labor Day men's retreat, which has run many decades. Um, and the winter retreat is, is a new thing. Both, both retreats are constantly evolving. They're constantly changing. But if I were to take a snapshot of the two retreats right now, Labor Day is is bigger. It's more men. It's typically 70, 80 men. It's uh, pretty pretty well programmed so that you show up, you have an activity, you you wake up in the morning, there's an activity, there's a choice of workshops there. Of course, you can always opt out uh, and uh, and just enjoy time playing cribbage or, or going for a walk. Uh, but it's, it's a heavily programmed retreat experience that um, is designed to stimulate and, uh, and engage people. The winter retreat has programming, but we're conscious that in the middle of the winter, what we want to do is crawl out of our caves, stretch, you know, take a, take a nice, slow uh, walk into reconnecting with each other. It's not summertime energy. It's not the hot and sweaty activity level. It's more of a gather around the fire kind of uh, of a of a enterprise. And so we, I think the 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 winter retreat might be good for people who like smaller groups who do, who who would like to be in a smaller group and have maybe more opportunities for uh, for quiet, uh, gentle interaction with people and uh, sample. I think it's an ideal time to sample row for the first time. I think I think it's a, a really great and um, uh, uh, intimate, a more intimate kind of setting for that. You know, when I, in my experience that sometimes it's it's hard to find connection in the gay community because it's, you know, right now, especially these days when everything is on apps. And this is the perfect antidote to all of that, where you have just in-person engagement and interaction. And even for folks that are brand new, the the people at these uh, retreats just have each other's back and they're just so um 
caring about making sure that everybody feels comfortable and welcome. Right, I think that's key for that I've noticed with your group is that um, you're so welcoming and you're so clear on um, it's kind of unconditional welcoming. You know, you, uh, it's you're open to care for someone wherever they are in their journey. Um, and uh, you know, finding acceptance, finding acceptance of their selves, finding acceptance from others, uh, just loving each other, uh, you know, standing in who they are. And I think that's beautiful. And uh, it's really nice to be a part of it. Speak to that as well. Yes. Um, I have a friend who I was telling about the retreat several years back, and he asked me, a bunch of gay men in the woods, why would I want to go there? And I, I think what he meant, what we were saying was that like he had experienced such an unwelcoming feeling of experiencing like other gay men in the past that, you know, the idea of being someplace where you're secluded and no other um, folks around was like anathema to him. And the only thing I could say in response was that this is a community that really cares for itself and each other. And so if you're longing for that sense of connection and community with other gay men, this is a perfect opportunity to come check that out and, and grow into that. And it really changed how I experience my community as well. Mm -hmm. I just have to tag on, that's so important. You know, we call ourselves a group of men who love men. Communities of men who love men are sometimes not very loving to men. And the gay bar is, is a really great example of that, where it can be, can be a very hostile meat markety place where people are sized up and put down. And uh, so it's, it's an ironic thing. The communities of men who love men are often not very loving to men. And it's a, it's a beautiful thing uh, when it happens. And in my experience, it's a somewhat unusual thing when it happens. It's not to be taken for granted. Thank you. Yes. Would you say that this would be only for men who are who who love men who are uh, middle aged, young? Uh, you know, is there who's most comfortable here? Well, our age range is tw is early twenties to ninety. <laughs> we we do we do have a ninety year old. I think it's ninety four yeah. now. <laughs> ninety four. Yeah. Great. So, uh, it's, so it's it's pretty inclusive in terms of in terms of age. It's it's pretty it pretty much spans the spectrum. Great. Right. This seems like a some place that somebody could come and um, you know uh, <clears throat> looking for some mentors, looking for somebody to look up to uh, to help them on their path. This might be a really nice place for that. Historically, many folks who are early in the journey of coming out have come to Roe and found community there. Uh, it was, it's a pretty, as I said, like welcoming community. And so it's a place where people can start to get a sense of what it feels like to be around other folks in the community and feel safe in that. One, one thing that I think is a really great um, and, and somewhat unique feature of this retreat is that it's peer led. And what, if there's mentorship, it's peer to peer mentorship. There are no gurus at our retreats. We don't bring in the $5,000 a night keynote speaker or, you know, great. Teacher. If you're looking for a retreat where you go and somebody tells you the meaning of life and you come home and, and the teacher has said, you said, don't, that's not this one. Don't come to this one. <laughs> this, this is simply people like us, like you, who, who come and, um, and help each other and love each other and mentor each other and learn from each other, uh, older from younger and younger from older. It's, it's completely, uh, completely peer to peer. I'm new to this, uh, to this organization. So I'd love to hear your favorite memory of coming to Roe. Well, I actually wanted, well, maybe I can try and couch it in your question, <laughs> but I have to tell you that, um, you know, part of the, the, just the package of uh, going to this retreat is the campus itself. I was just, just the drive up, you know, felt like a journey to, you know, some, oh man, uh, I'm going to say holy place, but like, you know, it really does feel like you're going up the mountain and you come and it is such a beautiful campus, right? And then just to come and see, um, you know, just walk into a room, like there's a, this room called Rhoda's room, especially in the winter, that's what we'll be using a lot. And just seeing all these men, and it feels just like a fireside kind of warmth to it. And uh, I remember that from my first time coming last year. 
I love to dance and every year the dance is amazing. We have a fantastic DJ who turns it into a whole experience. And so just that opportunity of getting to get sweaty and move around with a bunch of folks is a blast. Um, one of my other favorite memories is so off, like we, uh, people often get together and just play games. Um, and so after we do one event, if there's some space, like people go off to the farmhouse. And I remember one night playing a game of celebrity and everybody just having the deepest belly laugh. Like, you know, it gets so silly and just so much fun. The last memory for me and why I continue to come back for so long was the first year I went, I had a lot of anxiety. Would I be accepted? Would I be welcomed? And I felt so welcomed that I came back for a second year. And what started to happen as the years accumulated was that I started to build this community that wasn't just at row, but was kind of my ability to check in with people over the course of the year and measure my own growth as a human being from year to year to year. And so I'd be like, oh, this is, you know, this isn't a problem for me anymore. This is open in a different way. And so building that sense of self and inside of community, because I think we really are called to our best selves in community. Uh, mm -hmm made all the difference to my life. Thank you for sharing that. I really appreciate that. Anything else from you, Carl? I also remember the dance uh, because I, I danced like crazy in college. And then I got to a point in my life where I just felt like I'm too old to dance. Like it's not it's not fitting to, for an old man to dance in public. It's, you know, embarrassing. And uh, I don't know, something came over me and I just like turned into a sweaty heap and <laughs> just danced my ass off, literally. And uh, it, it was, um, it was really transformative. It was, it was really, it's, it was a safe enough space that I didn't care about my age and dancing. I just went back into college and did it. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah. That's a, I mean, that's a that's one of the most vulnerable moments for lots of people is if their dance moves are going to be nice enough right it's so nice yeah. to be able to be in yeah. a group where you can say it's okay if i look goofy right now as long as we're all feeling good and 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 enjoying ourselves and i think that's that's key here right we're here to enjoy yeah. ourselves we're here to relax we're here to connect uh, and we're here to enjoy the beautiful um outdoors that we have here you tell us again uh, the date and um and how to how to register things like that right the dates are march 31st to april 2nd that's a friday through sunday and if i'm not mistaken the the website is rowcenter.org that's correct yeah. mm -hmm. so great so yeah so they can just come online register and um you know they'll get a, a nice information packet on uh how to get here and uh you know what to expect and you'll get connected with a community that's just full of love and acceptance and uh and fun right i mean that's that's the best part well thank you for each of you for joining me today yes michael go ahead great can i say one more thing so yeah. i wanted to also say that you know there'll be a sample schedule online if you're concerned about what we're going to be doing or you're interested in what the options are and if anyone has questions beforehand do they want to come or like have some reservations or whatever they're welcome to give me a call and uh, you can get my phone number through the row center okay wonderful thank you we'll make sure we have that information accessible from our front, our front desk. Thank you uh, to the Labor Day Men's Retreat group here for uh, spending some moments with me today. Um, we hope that everyone uh, will take a moment to go ahead and go to rowcenter.org and uh, review what the spring thaw is all about and register and visit with us. Thank you, uh, gentlemen. Uh, thank you. Bye, Bye everybody. everybody. We can't wait to see you. Take care. Bye-bye.